I don't know how to explain how good this franchise was in the beginning and then how it just turned to crap after they made three sequels to it. And what movie am I talking about? It's Jaws, alright? Now let me go one by one through the series. Jaws, well, when it came out the first movie, I'm not sure how much it cost to make it, but it made like a million bucks, which doesn't sound like a lot in today's movie industry, but back in 1975, I think that's when it came out. Yeah. It, that was like a ton for its time. It made like a ton of money. It was, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Alright, one of the best movies of all time, right here. And then they figured, oh, if you made that much, people would want that, would, would want many of these things. So they made more of them. They made Jaws 2. <clears throat> Which, the infamous tagline is, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. It's a very good movie. I'd say this is probably the best one in the franchise. Didn't do as well in the box office. Did very well, but not as good as Jaws 1. Jaws 3. Now, at this point, they. What happens is Jaws 1 is a very good movie, and Jaws 2 is a pretty big drop off from it. Well, I mean, most people think it is. I'd say it's about on par with it. But, most people say this is a big. Jaws 2 is a big, this is a big drop off from Jaws 2, which is a big drop off from Jaws 1, but, trust me, this is the, this is the point where they're like, why are they making these, I mean, really, why, and they had, Jaws became so famous that I think the reason why it died was oversaturation. Because when the first one came out, they put it on everything. Candy, trading cards, posters, magazines, the works. Toys, inflatable, fucking rubber bath toys, everything. New earbuds, when new Skull King earbuds are falling off my desk, but... Seriously. This guy who directed it... Joe Alves, I think that's how you say his name, but, um, dude, you should have seen what, Steven Spielberg, and, I'm not sure how you say the guys, the guy who directed this, his name is, I'm not sure how you say it, Jeanette Swart, I don't know, but you should have seen what these guys did, and then use that as a good example, alright, because, even though I do, Kind of like this movie. Excuse me for the burp. You know what? Kind of like this movie. It's not. It's for some reason. It's it's just not that watchable. Kind of caused some weird place in my heart. And this dog movie had a whole three D effect, which still hit. It didn't do as well as Jaws Two did. It. Okay, and this made less than that. And this made less than that. This is the original Jaws. Jaws 2 and Jaws 3. And here's the final movie, which is a, in this franchise, which is an utter piece of crap. And the only reason I have it is so I can, to have the entire Jaws franchise. And I only recommend you watch this if you want to see the entire franchise. And that is Jaws of Revenge. This time it's a person. I should say this time it's a piece of shit. That's what it should say on the box. I'm not kidding. This movie is a piece of shit. It made even less than just three did. Nobody liked it. The special effects are so freaking cheap. The acting is horrendous. The plot is the realism to it is so freaking off. Like um a shark can track a family from, I guess, I don't know where, 
the island is. I think they say it's somewhere near England or New England. I forget, but it tracks all that way down to the Bahamas. First of all, the, the shark's like tracking them like it's a freaking agent in the freaking CIA. And what happens? This? That's wrong one. This? Jaws Revenge? Made less than this. Which made less than this. Which made less than this. And believe it or not, the special effects, this movie made so little money, and then the, I guess the special effects were so cheap, that this, that the movie, the money that it made in the box office was enough to cover its operating costs. This is one of the worst movies of all time. They've even, it's on some weird list, worst movies of all time. Oh, I don't know what this play button thing is here. I have this play button, but whatever. Okay. First of all, if they had at least paid more attention to people who made Jaws 3, it sounds like the disc is, yeah, the disc is flopped out of the thing. The disc flopped out of that. If people who made, uh, these movies, Joe Alves and Joseph Sargent, they should have seen what made these two movies so good. Right? They should have ended it after this movie, in my opinion, because it ended on a high note. Okay, I can understand making at least one sequel to Jaws. That's more reasonable. First of all, how does the shark get revenge on the family? What is it? There's no reference in this movie whatsoever to this movie. It's so freaking stupid that either this, the stuff that happened in this happened before this, or this never happened at all for this to happen. So maybe this, this should have been Draws 3, this I guess should have been Draws 4. And the these movies were so memorable. These were the best in the franchise. These ones make me want to fall asleep. I can n almost never get through Jaws Revenge without falling asleep at near the end of the movie. Or in the middle of the movie. I've only seen, only managed to do that maybe twice. And in Jaws, in Jaws 2, I can't stop watching. What I think that may have really killed it might have been oversaturation, though. Like I said, I'll I'm getting back to that now. What happened was, like I said, once Jaws did really good, they seemed to have put it on every Jaws stuff, like everywhere. Posters, VHS tapes. Once they got a little bit further in the timeline, DVDs, <clears throat> cards, toys, board games. I'm not kidding, I think I've seen Jaws board games. Three freaking sequels. Three freaking sequels to that great movie. The second one was, I think this one might be slightly better than the first one, but they're both still very good. This was a giant, was a pretty big disappointment, but I will admit, I can still enjoy it. And this is the biggest, this is probably the movie out of every movie on earth that I hate the most other than another movie called Zombie Nation. Okay? Like I said, oversaturation may have killed it because even though these movies were years apart, there was a crap ton of franchise uh, merchandise, excuse me, merchandise made in between then. Like, uh, I have a Jaws poster over there on my wall, and yeah, I'm a huge fan of the franchise. If you know me, you can, you probably know that. Oh, you, which you guys don't know me, because this is probably going to be like my fifth. I thought I was trying to have many videos I made, even though I don't have, I know I just don't have very many, but 
they overdid it. They made way too many sequels to it. They should have ended it after Jaws 2 instead of making another couple of sequels to it. <clears throat> they shouldn't have put it on so much stuff. Because I think when they put it on a bu bunch of stuff, that's, I think, what may have caused the box office money to drop. Even though they did get pretty crappy. They still at least kind of made a good amount of money. Well, this didn't make very much money at all, but it still covered its operating costs. This made a crap ton of money. This made a good amount of money. It didn't make as much as the original, but it still made a good amount. This made less than Jaws 2, which made less than the original. And this is the one that most people hate, which made less than Jaws 3, which made less than Jaws 2, which made less than the original. Alright. Oh my god, this video is already 11 minutes long. But... Alright. So, I think the oversaturation may have killed it. Like I said, they even made Jaws like Pez dispensers. They made candy, they made freaking books, CDs, records, everything. Alright, this has been the Brawlmaster 98 signing off.